In this video, we are going to give an example of a n and b n so that the series of a n and the series of b n, both of them diverge, but the series of a n times b n, and be sure you do this part first, we want this series right here to be convergent. And let's talk about part a first. Hmm, how can we make this happen? Well, first of all, let's talk about how we can get some divergent series first, right? So here is just an example right here for you guys. Let me just pick a n to be, I want a divergent. So let's just do 1 over n. How's that? Sure, why not, right? And then I want another divergent. Well, b n. I want this to be 1 over square root of n. How's that? Let me show you why this will satisfy these two conditions. And as we can see, we see that the sum of n goes from 1 to infinity of a n, which is 1 over n. This right here, we know this right here diverges because this is the harmonic series. And then the sum of b n, which is the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over square root of n. And this right here is the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the 1 half power. This right here also diverges because, as we can see, the p right here is 1 half, which is less than or equal to 1, right, by the p series. And of course, this right here, it was also the p series or the harmonic series, depending on how you want to quote your reasoning for that. So, as we can see, both of these guys diverge, right, this and that diverge. We're talking about the series being divergent, right? But, as we can see, you will see that the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity, if we multiply a and b n first and then put in the series, we will have 1 over n times, and let me just write this as 1 over n to the 1 half power, why not? In calculus, we almost always look at the square root as 1 half power anyway. And then of course, we'll just multiply this out first, which is a sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. This right here, 1 plus 1 half is 3 half. So that's just fraction, 3 half, right, adding fractions. And as you can see, here, the p is 3 half, which is greater than 1. Now, this series um, converges. So we actually satisfy the conditions right here. Now, we want a and b n so that the series of a n and b n, the series a m and the series of b n, both of these guys converge. But we want this guy, the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of a n times b n, we want this to diverge. Hmm, it's kind of like a reverse of that, huh? Yeah, so how can we make this happen? Hmm. Okay, so let's see. This right here, uh, uh, just like Dr. Priyan would say, the prime example of a divergent is the sum or the series of 1 over n, right? So if you can somehow produce this to be 1 over n, then you'll be done, right? You want a and b n, multiply them, and if somehow they become 1 over n, then that's pretty much it. How can we make that happen? Well, let's just think about what time so will give you 1 over n. Of course, you can talk about 1 over square root of n times 1 over square root of n. That will give you the n in the denominator. And then what times 1 will give you 1? 1 times 1 is equal to 1. But if you put 1 right here, and if you want to talk about the series of 1 over square root of n, this right here actually diverges because we talk about it over there. It's OK, though. Let me show you. Because remember, negative 1 times negative 1 will also give you positive 1. So if you have negative 1, but in order for me to get convergent out of this, we will have to have the alternating version. So negative 1 to the nth power times negative 1 to the nth power. When we multiply this two, we, we will just get a 1 on the top, right? And on the bottom, we'll get n. That's pretty much a strategy. And right here, uh, I didn't really say a n and b n cannot be the same. So we can actually just pick this to be the a n, this right here to be the b n. So that's pretty much the idea. So now let me just write this down for you guys. So example, what we'll do is we will take a n to be negative 1 raised to the n power over square root of n. And I will also take b n equals negative 1 to the n power over square root of n. Again, there's no condition on a and b cannot be the same. 
Uh, I will show you guys the other version later on. But let me show you why. Like this right here satisfies this because if you take the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity, just put this down right here, negative 1 to the nth power over n in the square root. This right here actually converges. Why? By the alternating series test. Because remember, you have to check this part. This is 1 over square root of n. And you have to check two things. First of all, 1 over square root of n, right here, this does go to 0 as n goes to infinity. Right, that's the first condition. Uh, that's pretty easy to see. And the second thing is that 1 over square root of n does decrease. So you can see that's 1 over square root of n plus 1. It is less than or equal to 1 over square root of n. So by alternating series test, this right here you know, converges. And of course, b n and n are the same. So it's pretty much the same speech, right? And now I'm just going to multiply them together, and you'll see that. And you'll see that. This, right? They are the same. So you will see when you multiply them together, the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. A and b n, which is just going to be, parentheses in red, that which is negative 1 to the nth power over square root of n. And this is exactly what I was saying earlier, right? That was the scratch work, and now this is the work. Multiply them, you do get the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. Negative 1 to the n times negative 1 to the n, altogether is negative 1 to the 2n. But if you play around with the exponent rule, you can do negative 1 to the second power, which is 1, and then to the n, which is always 1. So you have always 1 on the top over this times that is just n. So as you can see, this right here actually diverges because this is the harmonic series. We can also say p is equal to 1, which is less than or equal to 1 by the p series. So that's pretty much the idea. And for the people who don't like this example, because you might see that, hey, a and b are the same, so that's kind of cheating. But not really. Okay, yeah, I know it's like, you know, they are the same. If you don't want another example, let me just put this down right here for you guys. And of course, you have a lot more on your own. You can also take a n to be, well, let's just do negative 1 to the nth power over square root of n. That's fine. And I'll take b n to be, well, instead of putting down the square root of n, I can do the cube root of n. How's that? So I'll do, do that. Negative 1 to the n over the cube root of n. This is another example. You can also verify that if you put this times that, on the top you just 1, because it's the same thing like that. And then this is n to the 1 half power. And when you multiply that with n to the 1 third power, you will get n to the 5 over 6 power. And that p is less than 1, which the series, when you multiply this and that, diverges by the p series. So that's another example. Up to you, whichever one that you like. But yeah, that's it.